last weekend we had the biggest college football game of the entire year. LSU at Alabama. LSU won. LSU beat Alabama 46 to 41. And it was this dramatic, exciting, fun football game. I had a blast watching it. And we got to see the two best quarterbacks in college football, Joe Burrow, LSU's quarterback, and Tua Tungavaloa, Alabama's quarterback, Joe and Tua, go head-to-head. And, oh, my gosh, it was awesome. Joe Burrow stole the show. Joe Burrow was the star of the game. He played better than Tua. And, you know, because of this game, he is now – he was already the Heisman favorite. Now he's the Heisman favorite by a mile. I would be shocked at this point if Joe Burrow isn't the person to win the Heisman Trophy. And how interesting would it be if – Three years in a row, Baker Mayfield, then Kyler Murray, and then Joe Burrow, back-to-back-to-back, were all Heisman Trophy winners, quarterbacks, and number one overall picks. I think it's possible that happens, and man, I just was so impressed with Joe Burrow. He made great decisions. He ran the ball when he needed to. He made really big throws downfield, very daring throws, didn't hesitate, did a great job, and you know, when I watch Joe Burrow, I actually see a lot of Jimmy Garoppolo. They're, they're very similar quarterbacks, Jimmy Garoppolo and Joe Burrow. They don't have the biggest arm, but they're very accurate. They have great timing, and they both can run a little bit. And even watching Joe Burrow run is very similar to the way Jimmy Garoppolo runs. I'm like, oh, it's, there's such a weird similarity there. In this game against Alabama, Joe Burrow was 31 for 39 passing. He had 339 yards. He had three touchdowns. And what impressed me the most was that in this big moment, it's everybody's watching, the nation's watching, the world is watching, and it's you matched up with Alabama, this juggernaut. And you're not the favorite in this game. And Joe Burrow showed up and played his best football. I mean, he put everything out there. He was phenomenal. And he didn't even look intimidated in the slide. And I know that's like, you shouldn't be so excited someone didn't look intimidated. But to me, it's so impressive that who Joe Burrow is showed up. He was, not a, he was not deterred. He was not discouraged. He just, man, puffed out his chest and played his best football. And to me, that's impressive. And that's, that's to me, really exciting if you're a quarterback evaluator to see a guy who, in his biggest moment, shows up. A lot of quarterbacks are really good. Some guys struggle in the biggest moment. Joe Burrow did not. He was phenomenal. Um, a stressful situation. He was totally, totally cool. Now, LSU's offensive staff made a bunch of great play calls. They were phenomenal. Um, LSU has a bunch of playmakers, and Joe Burrow executed that offense perfectly. He has mastered this offense. Joe Burrow, it's very clear to me that the preparation Joe Burrow has done is, is just an, a, an elite level. I mean, whether it's the offseason or leading up to a week, he is in total command. He knows exactly what to, where to go with the ball every single play. Joe Burrow has great understanding of the matchups, and he knew when his receivers were matched up on a a backup corner. He knew where to go with the ball at all times and just did a great job. And uh, I, to me, you know, and, and not only that, Joe Burrow worked all the way across the field to his third and his fourth read. To me, Joe Burrow's performance against Alabama is a selling point. Like, this is an NFL performance. The way the guy read defenses, the way the guy understood matchups, the way the guy was calm under pressure in big moments. Uh, Joe Burrow put out an NFL performance last weekend against Alabama. And it really actually reminds me of when I watched the film of Kyler Murray versus Alabama last year, I was like, okay, well, you know, Kyler Murray is the number one overall pick. Watch how he handles Alabama. I was so impressed. And Joe Burrow did the same exact thing. He handled them incredibly well and played his best football. And so to me, Joe Burrow is the best quarterback in the NFL draft. And if it's not, it's Tua, but I, I really just, the way he handled that moment was better than Tua. And I was so impressed with him. Alabama didn't deserve to beat LSU. They did not deserve to win that football game. They had busted coverages. They left LSU receivers wide open. There was a play where they had two guys left wide open. And Alabama's quarterback, Tua, had two really costly turnovers. And I understand that I know Tua was hurt. A lot of people are like, well, Zach, Zach, you know, Tua Tungvaloa was injured. I get it. He was injured. But his ankle injury didn't make him drop the ball. And his ankle injury didn't make him have a bad interception where he made just a bad decision and threw a terrible, dis- you know, threw a, a ill-advised pass before halftime. I mean, the fumble, he literally just dropped the ball. That's not, you can't blame that on the ankle. And LSU took advantage of those mistakes. And to me, you know, I really, really respect Tua for playing this game. I, I, I was, you know, his ankle, I'm sure, was hurting. He was 20 days removed from 
an ankle injury. And I really want to I want to be very, very clear. Joe Burrow, in my opinion, outplayed Tua, but Tua is still an incredible quarterback and deserves a lot of respect. And I think really uh, he, he's still a, look. He, if it's not Joe Burrow, it's Tua. They're the two best quarterbacks in college football, and they're the two best quarterbacks going into the NFL draft. I'm really impressed with Tua. Um, I think NFL scouts will be too. You know, the fact that he played 20 days removed from an ankle surgery is just awesome. I want to read you a quote. It's a quote from the LSU safety Jacoby Stevens after the game. He said, Tua is a team player, man. He had every reason to be selfish. He has every excuse in the world to not play in this game and just prepare for the draft. But one thing Tua is going to do is Tua is going to come out and put on a show for his fans and he's going to play his hardest for his team. That's one thing, dot, dot, dot. I respect the hell out of Tua for doing that. I, I agree completely with Jacoby Stevens, and I think NFL circles are really impressed with Tua because, again, he could have very easily said, I'm the best quarterback in the NFL draft. My ankle shot. I'm taking a break. He came out to play and help his team. And, man, we've seen guys get hurt and shut down their season to prepare for the NFL, not Tua. Tua is here for the long haul. He's a team player. He's a quarterback who loves his team and puts his team first. And to me, man, I, I am so impressed with Tua. I know a lot of people are going to point to the fumble and the interception and say, well, Tua got outplayed by Joe Burrow. He did. He did get outplayed. But the fact that he showed up to play deserves some recognition. And the body of work Tua has done and the decisions he's made and the way he's played, you know, his deep ball is incredible. You know, I have said that I've made statements before that Jacob Eason, the quarterback at Washington, has the best arm. And Jacob Eason might have the best arm. He's got the strongest arm, the most zip on the ball. Tua Tungvaloa's deep ball is bar none. I mean, he had, he had a deep ball at the end of the game where, like, it just down the left side. Then I was like, oh, my God, <laughs> that's a perfect throw. I mean, multiple times Tua, throughout his career, has just gone, just launched the ball 60 yards, perfectly in stride over the shoulder to a receiver. And I've gone, that's just a, I don't know what to do with that. That's an NFL throw. So uh, Tua, I still hold very highly in regards to the NFL. And I, I don't think this performance should take away from his draft stock or make him look bad. I think, in fact, actually it helps him because now NFL teams know if two is hurt, he's going to show up for your team and try to help them. And I think that's really, really impressive with me or to me. Now, the question is, what is next for Alabama? What now? Here's the reality. Bama played poorly. They had busted coverages. They had a quarterback make two really bad decisions. Alabama played badly, and they still lost by only five points to the number one team in the nation. Um, you know, in my opinion, Alabama is still alive, very much alive in the college football playoff discussion and deserves to be. Uh, it's just my opinion, but I think Alabama, uh, they, they deserve to be in that conversation. And I would not be shocked if they still made it into the college football playoff, even with the loss to LSU last Saturday. My name is Zach Schaumler. This is my podcast, Strong Opinion Sports. It's my favorite thing in the entire world. And I want to be very clear, open, and transparent. My YouTube channel is monetized. What that means is that some of my videos make money through ad revenue. Now, it's fewer than you think. A lot of my videos get claimed. But in the past, I've received donations from Patreon and PayPal. PayPal.me forward slash Zach Schaumler. Patreon.com forward slash Zach Schaumler. And so because I'm making ad revenue, it feels weird to just get donations. I wanted to give something back. I want to give people a reward for supporting me on Patreon. So now you can submit questions. If you give me a dollar a month, you can submit questions to a pool of questions on Patreon. I look at all the questions on Patreon. I use my eyeballs. I make a joke about it. Uh, and I pick the top couple questions at the end of every single episode. And I read them and answer them on a segment called Ask Zach. Now, that's for people who have money. They want to support me. If you have no money to give, I totally understand. I've been a broke college kid myself. Um, but if you believe in me and if you believe in my dream and you still want to help me, please help me grow by telling your friends about the show. Share it on Facebook. Twitter, Instagram, maybe a screenshot of you, put it on your Instagram story. Help me grow by telling your friends about the show. My name is Zach Schaumler. Thank you so very much and have a great day.